Welcome back, this is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks and in today's video we're going to take a look at how can we change the placeholder information on an order form. This question came from someone in the uh, CF Geek Out group and so what they wanted was to be able to change the placeholder text on a on a order form like this to another language. In this case here, they wanted to be able to change it to French. And unfortunately, there's no way to do it natively inside of ClickFunnels. So we have to use a little bit of JavaScript code to change everything out. So let me show you what it looks like on a live page once we get it all done. In this case here, this would be first name, last name, and telephone number in English, of course. And then when you click click on it, what's going to happen is the uh, the value there is going to slide up and then you're going to have the placeholder text underneath it right there. And then same over here. Now when we get down to the telephone down here, they already have in the format of what they want the, the uh, telephone number to look like. So we're going to leave that part in there. But the rest of them we're going to change except here's where the problem comes in. I have tried every way I possibly can to see about changing where it says select country and select state. I've reached out to other people who are developers who know how to write JavaScript code much, much better than I do. I have not heard of anyone yet who's been able to come back and say, okay, this is how to change it. So at this point here is going to have to remain as select country and select state. So let's take a look at what the code is. So we'll come back into our page right here. And if you want to see where we are actually working on this element, we can come here to checkout, open up the checkout element. We're going to come over here to step number two. And this is what we are affecting. But like I said, unless they change this in the future, when you come in here and it says input settings, you can change a lot of stuff about it. The focus, the error, the colors and all that you can change, the fonts, everything else, but there's nowhere to change what the actual words are or to be able to translate it somehow into a foreign language. So what I had to do was write a little bit of code for this. So let's open up our code editor down here at the bottom. We're going to go down into our footer code. And let me just open this up on the page. Because the first two lines here are for the first name. Then we had on the next two lines the last name. And then we had the telephone number. As I said, that's only going to have one input change because we want to leave that format the way they had it in there for, um, for the, uh, the placeholder text is uh, what it would be. And so let's take a look at what this means by looking at the live page itself. So for the first one here, we have first name, input, and then we have an attribute of a placeholder, which we changed to prenom. And then we have a label, and we need to change the text of that label to prenom as well. And I'm probably saying that wrong, but I don't know a lick of French, so I can't really be, uh, be too fluent in it. So let's go here. We're going to inspect. So we're going to come into our element. We're going to inspect this element. We're going to open this up. And in this case here, let's go back to where we were. So we have here div type equals first name and then input. So let's look for this input element, which is what I should have opened when I clicked on it, which I did right here. And we're going to see right up here above it, we have a div, which is a division in HTML. It's just a, an element in itself. And so then we have div. And in order to identify this, I said here, type equals first name. So we picked out this attribute of type equals first name and we're saying okay this is the element that we want to focus on is this div that has the attribute of type and a value of first name and then we're saying we want to go down inside of there we want to find the input tag or the input element inside of that outer element and then what we need to change in here is let's go back in here I'm pretty sure is attribute okay placeholder of prenom. So let's see here, we got to come into this element and we're looking for the placeholder right here. And as you can see, I already changed it to prenom because the code has already run on the page. So on this very first one here, we need to change the placeholder. And then 
you have to put it in the second place because as you saw on here, when we click on this, the prenum goes up to the top or the first name goes up to the top, but then it also says first name again here on the standard page. So we have to come over here and we're going to go down here where it says class equals L label. We're going to open this up. We're going to go down to where it says border holder. We're going to open that one up and finally within here, we come to the label, which is what you see here on the screen as I highlight over it. So we got the placeholder up here and then we got the label down there. And again, in order to find that label, we're going to use the same thing here to start off with the div, the type equals first name, and then we're going to say label. So up here we said input. Down here we're saying label. So we're saying find this element up here first and then find the element inside of it, a child element of it that also has the tag of label on it. And so we find that and then we will change out that text. So we change out the text. On the first one, we had to find the attribute of placeholder. So this here is known as an attribute. So our placeholder is attribute. We changed that out. On the second one down here, we changed the text of that label element. And so that's exactly what we did there. So you do the exact same thing for the next one. You come in here, you find the last name. And then at this point here, it is just copy, paste, copy, paste. So for the telephone number, we did the same thing. So I will show you one more. Let me just copy this right here and let me paste it down here a little further. Take that out. So now we're going to go to the next one on our list, which will be email right here. So let's click on our email and let's inspect that. And so did we come to our email? Yes, we did here. So here we have type equals email. So our outer element right here. So again, normally when you click on it, you're going to end up on the input part of the element. So we're going to go to the part outside of that. We're going to go to its parent element and we're going to look for again, our type equals something. In this case, type equals email. So we're going to come over to our code and we are just going to type in type equals email email and delete everything else out here email right there and then we have another um, inside of here then we have again our placeholder so we have our type equals email we have our input element inside of it we have our placeholder and our placeholder says right there email. So I'm going to copy that, except I don't want it to be email. I want it to be something in French. And so what I'm going to do just to make this easy on me, so I don't have to pull out the translator thing again, I'm just going to say here, uh, French word, and we're going to leave it at that. And we're going to do the same thing for the same down here. So whatever words you want to put in here, of course, that's what you're going to put at that point. And so then for the second one, again, we come down here into the L label. We click on that and we come down the side of it. Oops, let's open this up. And again, we're going to have our label and it's email. So for each one of these, the only information you really have to find is the type up here in the beginning because the label is going to be the same for everyone. The input's going to be the same. The fact that we're doing a placeholder here is going to be the same. So we only have to figure out what is the type for each of these elements. So let's go through each one of them very quickly. So let us inspect this here. We're going to come up and it says here, type equals billing underscore address. So let me just copy that and let me put that up here. And what I will do is I will just paste these in here without doing all the rest of it. So all you gotta do is copy this and then so copy this whole thing here and then replace email with billing address and on the next one down let's go here and let's inspect this element we come up from where again it highlighted the the um, input we'll come up to the element above it and we're going to get billing address two is our type so we can paste that in right there and again, the next one here will be our city. 
And again, we got Billing City. And I have a feeling the next one here is going to be Billing Zip. That's uh, exactly what it is. So type equals Billing Zip right there. So that is what you will, again, paste in right where it says email right there. And then over here at the end, all you have to do is put in the words that you want to replace what is existing on the page. So that is it. It's uh, pretty simple once you figure out exactly where you need to change these items. And so that's it. So if you got any questions, just let me know.